buses here. Good. Going on a three day trip today, guys. I got red rum today. Welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today from Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. And um, I have a three day trip. So I started in Vegas, obviously. I went to LA and then I had a flight from LA to Baltimore. And um, it was a red eye. So it is now 8 a.m. and I've just uh, arrived. I am now in the room. As you can see, I, I've shown you around the room. What do you guys think about it? Pretty cool. Um, I love the view outside. There's a lot of flowers out there. It's really nice. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enjoy a little bit of breakfast before I settle in and um, tomorrow I do have an early show time. I think it's like 4... 40 a.m. that I have to be downstairs and uh, my showtime at the airport is five something and uh, tomorrow I am heading from Baltimore then I'm going to Boston which I was in what a week ago and unfortunately last week when I was in Boston I was only there for a few hours and 
It looks like it's going to be the same this week. I only have like an 11 hour layover in Boston and then after that I'm taking a flight back home. So I'm not spending a lot of time in Boston and I would like to go out and explore but what are you going to do? Anyway. Good morning everyone. Heading over to Boston now. It's 4.45 a.m. and I'll be in Boston for about 11 hours and then I'm heading back home. Hi guys, I'm in Boston now and I am here for about 11 hours before I head on back to Vegas. This is the same hotel I stayed at, so if you've seen the room tour from uh, the other Boston trip that I had, it's pretty much the same, um, it's, except this one has a different view. Um, I'm going to head downstairs now and have a little breakfast before they take it down in a couple All right guys, I am heading downstairs right now. I've changed. I'm in my old navy shirt. Okay, let's head downstairs and grab some breakfast. Let's see what's happening in the world. in Boston. I got a couple more hours to go, but I wanted to say congratulations on reaching the 900 mark subscribers. Guys, we're so close to a thousand. I can't believe it. I always say I can't believe it and uh, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the thousand mark, which is unbelievable. So I just wanted to say congratulations. Yeah. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, after breakfast, I brought some leftovers upstairs, which I brought the potatoes and um, the eggs upstairs with a little bit of uh, picante sauce, and that's what I had for dinner today. Luckily, this room has a microwave, so that worked out really great. I wonder who's calling. Hello? I'm gonna figure this out. Who the hell is calling me anyways? Nobody knows I'm here.
Hi guys, I just woke up. <clears throat> Today is Saturday. I got home this morning actually from uh, my trip from Boston. Um, yeah, from Boston. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, last night was um, super eventful. I was supposed to get home slightly before midnight. And um, I didn't get home till after 2. But let me tell you why, guys. So, <clears throat> once we left Boston, there were a lot of... There was like a bachelor group going into coming to Vegas, you know, to celebrate um, their bachelor party. And so, I could tell those guys were like probably going to be you know, a little bit of a handful, and um, they were, but uh, what really caused the problem was um, another set of passengers who, um, unfortunately, the one customer had, I guess, mixed their medications, and um, without our knowledge, we found out that they had also snuck in their own alcoholic drinks and mixing the two made this person a little bit like cuckoo uh, and so they just were acting up so bad um, they actually got into an altercation with their party that they were traveling with um, and at one point um, we had to separate this person away from the group and even doing that having them separated so they wouldn't be um, arguing on the plane um, still didn't work person was not happy at all whatsoever and they just became more and more and more belligerent so at one point um, mind you I was flight attendant B so I was sitting in the back with flight attendant C and um, we took home the 320, which is uh, requires four flight attendants. So the lead and flight attendant uh, B or uh, D, I'm sorry, were in the front. And this person had been relocated towards the front. Previously, they were towards the back. So I had been dealing with it. The other flight attendant had been dealing with it. And uh, so now this person is now in the front. And unfortunately... All of a sudden, I hear over the PA, uh, everybody sit down, and that was from the lead. And I was like, what? So I look up there, and all I see is one huge commotion. Everybody is, there's at least six people trying to restrain this person. And, I mean, you know, they had to use tough cuffs. We diverted. Um, we went to the nearest place that... Uh, we were at which was Denver and um, when we got to Denver not only was the police there but the FBI was there too it was it was quite a night everybody had to fill out you know um, FBI like witness forms and stuff and um, so that took about two hours to not only to divert to Denver but also to deal with the police and statements and witnesses and talking and all that good stuff. And then by the time um, we were able to return back to Vegas, it was past 2 a.m. So needless to say, I have been, I crashed last night. I have been in bed all morning. It is now past noon and um, I still have to work today, guys. So, uh... I just put on a, a little bit of lipstick right now so my lips would be okay for this video but um, I have ready reserved today starting at 4 um, last the cup last couple of times I've had ready reserve they've actually called me before um, my scheduled time was supposed to you know before I was supposed to start that day and they actually had given me a couple of trips um, so, but I'm only good for two days because after that, I start my days off. So, I don't know if I'm going to get anything. But, yeah, they, they could still use me today and tomorrow 
for two whole days so we'll see but um so yeah that's what's going on i just wanted to kind of wrap this uh video up so that i can start working on it and um i don't know that i'll get a chance to edit it here at home but if i'm just sitting ready reserve at the airport if they don't use me I should be in the crew room. I'll be able to edit this video and hopefully have it put up. Um, you know, I know that the, the Wi-Fi situation in the crew room is um, not ideal. It's like the signal inside of the terminal doesn't pick up so so much. I don't know. So I'll try to um, actually upload this video for you guys today, Saturday. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm so sorry if I don't. I'm sorry. It's taken so many days for me to put up a video. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened last night. And uh, yeah, life of a flood attendant, guys. Never mix medication and alcohol. It makes you crazy. Especially when you're up in the air and uh, the... The altitude really does affect the alcohol content uh, and how your body reacts to medication. So, yeah. All right, guys. I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I love each and every single one of you. Big hugs and kisses from my house to your house. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.